and gentlemen, we're going to go over cheap reads, try and save ourselves some money. Let's see what these reads are about because maybe it's not about getting the expensive reads. It's about finding the reads that fit your playing style the best. So three companies here. We got Dario, Rico, we got Van Dorn, and we have Giardinelli. So we got our Royal. They're not called Rico Royal. They're just called Royal by Dario now. We got our classic orange box Ricos. We got Lavaz. We got Hemke. And from Van Dorn, we have these Juno reads. So I tried to get a read strength that would pretty much make them all play in a very similar way. And I'm going to use my personal cheap uh, $20 Amazon mouthpiece that I had uh, gold plated. And then I'm just going to give my overall assessment, what you should be looking for in terms of quality with reads, and then uh, my objective opinion, and then my personal opinion. You guys can judge for yourself based on what these things sound like. Okay, so first up, Van Dorn, the Juno. So I'm just going to soak these in my trusty Surveillor Sax mug here. You guys can pick this up. I'll put a link in the description below, but I just got some regular distilled water here in this box. I chose the number threes to try and match the strength of everything else. These are student model reads, and they come in these little packets just like this. It looks like candy to people that don't know much about music stuff. All right, so let's soak these up and see what they sound like. Instead of the clear plastic container, these are red. Was not expecting that. All of these reads look a little suspicious though. I'll show you what all of that looks like and I'm going to show you what you should be looking for in terms of quality reads. Okay, let's move on to the second one. Um, inconsistent. This one is very stiff. Third Juno. This is stiff. Uh, this one is the stiffest one yet. Really stiff. Okay, this one is kind of usable. It's still really stiff. I really wasn't expecting these number threes to be as stiff as they are. Let's see. this box of five I got two that are workable but I don't particularly like these reads so Vendorn Juno <laughs> Really, really stiff. Okay, second Juno. Okay, that one was a little better. So, one out of five. Next up, I got these Lavaz Mediums. They do not come in a sealed uh, wrapper like the Van Dorn Junos do. So, let's soak these up, see what we got. Actually, I like these on Soprano, Lavaz reads, so... Let's see how they do on tenor. A 
visual inspection of all these reeds and they seem to have the same issue that the Juno does. I would be much more comfortable on these reeds so far than I would the Van Dorn. Okay. <laughs> some bargain reads maybe <laughs> okay a little stiffer definitely usable and definitely workable <laughs> Okay, I'm noticing some more inconsistency issues as I play through this. Again, workable but very stiff, but pretty different from the other ones. It still sounds like and feels like Lavaz reeds, but the inconsistency is coming from what the strength of the reeds feel like and not so much a shift in, in timbre. Okay, let's go on to the fifth one. <laughs> same as yesterday. Okay, next up, the Giardinelli reeds, ladies and gentlemen. They come in the same type of container that the Rico reeds come in. Okay, let's see what these are about. Okay. Okay, second Giardinelli reed. Okay, Giardinelli, Sir Giardinelli Reed. Okay, this one is not as consistent as the other two. So I used the um, other two Giardinelli reeds on the $21 Giardinelli mouthpiece, and they worked really well on that. I'm actually pretty surprised. These are the ones to beat so far, and if I'm not mistaken, they are the ones that are the cheapest. Okay, okay, Giardinelli. <laughs> Same, good. Uh, the other Giardinelli. About the same, a little stiffer. Also with this one that's a little bit out. I don't know if you can see that white stripe that's going down the middle. I'm going to show you a close-up of these reeds and how consistently inconsistent they are from one another uh, with all of these brands. Okay. Next up we have the Rico by Didario. This is a box of 10. I've just randomly picked five out to make this comparison a little more consistent. Um, these are filed along with the Giardinelli reeds. They are also filed. Okay. I think these used to be Rico Royal. I don't know. I'm just saying that because the box is the same color, but uh, these are filed. Well, let's see what we got. These are two and a half. <laughs> Mm, 
nice. That is just very nice. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, they were a little soft for two and a halves, but so far, this Rico by Daddario, this blue box, man, it is a leg ahead of everything else as far as cheaper reads go. Okay, let's try another one. Second read. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so far, two for two. Now, I want to be very objective in the way that I'm doing these videos, ladies and gentlemen. I am reviewing these as cheap alternative reads. So part of what I want to talk about is how easily you can make a transition from what you already play into these cheaper reads. And right now, I am really liking these blue box Ricos, man. Okay, let's move on to the third one. Definitely stiffer than the other ones, but the first one was a little too thin, so consistency comes with the strength. I can live with that, kinda. Okay, there's a dud. <laughs> All right, I'm not just checking to see what's the best Altissimo read. Um, usually starting this out on some kind of G, because G is the note that's really wants to crack and is unstable. Seeing how stable these reeds can hold that note. Um, and the overall tone, ease of play, the whole bit. Okay, uh, this is the fifth. Four out of five ain't bad, man. And the four are actually very, very usable. This one is definitely my favorite of the five. Of the ten. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, the second Royal Blue Box. <laughs> This is stiff. <laughs> 